Hello, hello again. What's up? What's up? So I decided to make another video because I just went and got my crystals from Alan Ivy. Jamie, thank you so much. Um, I have been collecting uh, open box for the last two weeks and decided to close it out because I'm still working on getting certain things together for collections that I'm doing. So I wanted to go ahead and get my stuff. So starting off, a really cool thing she did for me that she didn't have to do. Thank you so much, Jamie. She gave me some vanilla and some Nag Champa incense. I believe I'm saying that right. If I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry. Let me know how to say it. But yeah, so this is so cool. Thank you so much, Jamie. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start. I believe that this is all the packages. This came in a little, look how, look how adorable it looks like a little envelope. I just love that packaging. And the sticker that says thank you just makes it a lot more cute. Alright. And as, you know, a disclaimer. Some of the items I might have to put to the side because I, would, I have been shopping for people and for gifts and stuff. So it's not that I don't want to show you. It's just because I can't show you. And this is one starting off that I cannot show you. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. These are um, what is called peacock ore. And I am actually working on a an altar. Well, it's kind of an area in my room. Um, there's kind of sentimental value with these. Um, my grandmother passed away two years ago in June. Um, and before she had passed away, she everybody knows that I love peacocks and the color and the theme of everything about peacocks. So she actually, there's a corner over here that I will show y'all when I do my room tour in the future. Um, that all of the things that she got me in this corner were from her. So I've been on a bookshelf right in, underneath it. I have been starting a peacock section. So these are what's called peacock ore. I think it's cow copyright, cow copyright, or something like that. But they all have different color, distinct colors that reminisce, uh, or that remind you of a peacock. So they are, their nickname is called Peacock Ore. So of course I'm going to be putting that and incorporating that in my, um, peacock altar in memory of her. And that will never go away, no matter where I go, so. Oh yes, and then these I can show, well maybe not because they're actually gifts. So yeah, I'll put these to the side. JK, JK. <laughs> All right, so the next item. Oh, and I had to have these because I thought they were really cool and I have an idea for them. I just haven't figured it out. These are magnetic rainbow, I believe either rainbow or regular hematite. They're magnetic. I mean, how cool is this? Like, woo. <laughs> so I just figured, you know, I'll find something to do with them. I mean, I just, I think that's really awesome. Click, 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 click. Besides, I love hematite. Hematite is like one of my favorite stones. It's good for anxiety, calming, grounding. If you're ever like finding yourself overwhelmed or whatever, make sure you always have a hematite with you. For show. Sure. All right. And next up, oh, of course, I had to get this one when I saw it. Look at this optical calcite. I mean, look at the clarity, the crystal clear. And besides, I mean, it's just one big old ice cube. How could you not want something like this? It is ridiculously cool. It is a slab, and this is, like, literal stone. I mean, I'm so, like, impressed and blown away every time I get these stones. Like, you can even see my hands, my peace sign. Um, let's see, can you see the... Maybe not quite the rainbow on the painting, but yeah. So yeah, optical calcite. This is an awesome stone. I'm not quite sure about what it stands for and what it means, but um, I will have to look that up. All right, next, next up is a little goodie bag. Let's see what's in here. Now, I just get so tickled and excited when I get new crystals. I'm eventually going to slow down, sadly, because um, I've got to work on a couple other things because, you know, as a lot of people know, I'm starting my own business. So, got to get prepared and do some work for that. Um, <clears throat> I had, I saw this, and this is called Black Pyrite. I know what normal pyrite is. It brings money and fortune and prosperity. But I, something about this one just called to me. So I was like, yeah, I need to have it. Because, you know, who couldn't use a little more attraction for money and prosperity in their life? So I got those. Oh, let me go ahead and put these up here. We'll do one final flash of everything. Okay. So next, what did I get? 
Oh yeah, I thought this was an interesting specimen. This was part of a lot. And I love the way that it's crystallized and the way that it's like shaped and the way that it's differently like laid out and all of them have like little shards. So yeah, this was part of something that was part of a lot um, that I wanted to get. Let's see, because it had this exactly right here, bismuth. And I love bismuth. This is actually, I have this memorized, the meaning of this stone. I look at the rainbow and look at the way that the steps go. Like, it looks like steps. And the way that I equate this is to, like, life. Bismuth is good for, like, feelings of loneliness and depression and, um, you know, just helping you when you feel kind of alone. So this will be actually perfect for pocket stone because um, the other one that I have is really big. I'm sure you might have seen it in previous pictures. But, yeah, the other one I have is really big. So this might be a pocket bismuth. Um, and this right here is green opal, I believe. So this was also part of that lot. It's very nature -y. I don't really resonate with this one for some reason, but it was part of the lot, and I was like, okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and get it. So there's that one. Uh, let's see. And then one of the last few. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So I am starting a citrine collection, and I have a couple other towers on the way, and Jamie had this one. Let me see if I can... Okay, there we go. Let me get a little closer. And, I mean, the coloration is really nice. I believe it's smoky. I believe there's a little bit of phantom in there. Doing my best to show y'all. I hope this is good. I know, I'm sorry. My face is all up on the camera, too. But, yeah, this is a little small smoky citrine that I, I got. So, I've already got three little citrine towers now. And then, this looks like a little ditty bag. Um, I believe I did get one. Let's see. I don't remember what this one is. But, of course, you know, I love that color. So, it's definitely going to be um, good for me. This is Celestite. I already know this one. It's so funny when you order stuff and you comment, claim stuff. You kind of tend to forget what you get until you get it sometimes. Oops. Sometimes I'll have to go, like, back through the group and through the comments and, you know, look and see if I can find and this is another really interesting one. I like this because it's kind of like my birthstone color. So that is absolutely really nice. I love the green. I love that it's almost kind of jade, peridot kind of color. So nice, nice choices. Nice, nice. And then this one is a chunk of amethyst that must have been, that I must have claimed. I love this. Amethyst is always a nice stone. It's good for sleeping, too. So what I do is I actually have a little pouch somewhere in my pillow case um, that has amethyst, um, black tourmaline, clear quartz, and a hag stone because, you know, for you know good dreams and to be able to get more in touch with your deeper conscious and more aware, bring more awareness to things. Um, so this will be good. So I believe that is everything in that pouch. And this other pouch is for my mama, I believe. So let me just go ahead and double check to make sure I didn't get anything. Excuse me. I just had a sandwich, um, which I've told myself and convinced myself lately that I'm not going to be eating out much anymore because I actually make really good sandwiches. I don't know, from random fact in the middle of this uh, video, um, I usually get like Cajun turkey or buffalo chicken breast and um, lettuce and tomato, and I usually do like a barbecue sauce or ranch or something. So, okay, so there's that. I believe that was, yep. Um, but yeah, so that's why I was like kind of spasm hiccuping or whatever. Ooh, yeah. Y'all just, she already knows about it, but y'all just take a second and look at this peacock ore. This is the one that I was actually gonna comment on and take. Um, but she claimed it before I did because she's in the same group. But I'm like, look how lucky she is. Like, this is a really nice stone. Really beautiful. Love the colors. It's such, like, an oceanic vibe as well. So, anyways, that is all. That is everything. And, oh, not to mention, I mean, come through, Jamie. I, how adorable is this? I mean, how cool is this? I like this because, you know, she's local, so I was able to go by and pick it up off our porch. Um, but, yeah, like, it just, I don't know. It's just little things like this and, you know, the little flowers and jacks stuff packages that really you know make it interesting and fun 
But anyways, y'all, well, that was my video. I will do one last glance over of everything. Um, I wish I knew how to turn the camera around while it was recording. But, so this is my optical calcite, my rainbow hematite, citrine tower, and all that stuff. So yeah, comment, let me know what y'all's favorite pieces were and stuff like that. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your Saturday afternoon. I know I needed to start looking at the camera instead of, I would keep looking at myself. Um, but yeah, y'all, y'all have a great rest of your Saturday and have a good evening. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, y'all.